How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So I was just setting up a new print for a video I'm doing on multiple colors with one extruder and I just withdrew some filament but now I'm trying to extrude and well I can't get the filament to go through. So what happens sometimes, this is the Cheaty Tech X1, what happens sometimes with Mark 10 style extruders especially is when you withdraw filament sometimes a little wisp of plastic gets stuck. So now when I try to extrude, the filament goes in, it's jammed. So what I need to do is unblock it and I figured what I'd do is film the process so you know what to do. So I've got some tools here. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a few allen keys to take the cover off and the cover and fan shroud of the extruder. Make sure it's preheated so it's currently heated up to PLA temperatures about 220 degrees Celsius or so. So I've got one allen key here to take the shroud off. This is the Cheaty Tech so that's a metal, a metal shroud so let's just crack this off here. So what I need to do now is get this fan off. And you need to be really careful with your Allen keys. You don't stick the Allen keys in the fan because then you're gonna break the fan. <laughs> and an unbalanced fan is not very nice to have. So these are the Allen keys we need to get these two screws out. It is very tricky to do when the thing is powered on, but you do need to have it heated up to make it successful to unblock the little wisps of plastic that's in the way. I'm gonna do this one a little bit more. Yep, don't do that. <laughs> it's <laughs> not a good idea. All right, so we've got all loose now. And you can see right there, so I've got a little pair of tweezers here. This mode is very hot by the way. And that's basically all we needed to do, pull this out. Um, looks like it might be stuck in the feeder gear as well, so I'm just going to press the feeder gear down. So there's a little bit of plastic stuck here, and that's classic, that's a classic jam for the Mark 10 style extruders. So again with your tweezers, try to, these are really crap tweezers, try to get in there and pull it out. You want me to hold anything? That's all good. Yeah, go on. Hey, got him. There we go. So that's what was causing the blockage. So what happened is as I withdrew the filament, I did it manually, I'm lazy. And when you do that sometimes, if you're not quick enough, or sometimes if you're too fast, then it can break off a little bit like that between the feeding gear and the hot end. And we just need to put it back together. So basically reverse your steps again. Everything's still kind of on and hot, so be careful. <laughs> um, what can happen as well is with this fan. There we go. Kind of to touch the blades. These little uh, spaces can sometimes fall out and get lost, so just be careful of those. And then so just going to carefully put it back in position. Line up the motor. Get the little Allen keys. These tap into the motor. So see if you can get that lined up. There we go. Put one in a bit and the other one. That motor is really hot. I don't know why it's so hot. <laughs> and then tighten them up bit by bit. Make sure nothing's jammed. That's no, all pretty good. You don't want any wires stuck in there. So that's nice. It's nice and tight. And we can put our shroud back on if you have one. So that's what normally protects the fan. <laughs> it's a massive metal shroud. All right, so we're all warmed up and I can just go back and try another extrude. Extrude. Grab the filament, it's going through nicely. And there we go. So there's no blockage in the way anymore, and it's gonna go through the hot end and melt out nicely. So there you have it guys, that's how I fix the Mark 10 style extruder. So this is a pretty run and gun repair. So if you're running a print studio like I used to do, and you need to get machine back up and running quickly, that's how I do it. Um, it's obviously you got the dangers involved on the hot end being hot, and the fan spinning, and the extruder motor being hot. But if you're careful, you can get a machine back and get back up and running pretty quick. So thanks for watching this short video, guys, on how to fix your Mark 10 extruders. And I look forward to seeing you very shortly here on Makers Muse. Catch you later.